What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the SHSH blobs for downgrade and jailbreak purposes on iOS 15.5 and the betas that are currently available. The reason you should do that is to ensure that you will be able to jailbreak in the future. And yes, we have some things to discuss for those of you who are willing to update and can't wait anymore. This video is brought to you by Startsoft KeyPass, a program that allows you to bypass the iCloud activation if you forgot your passcode or your Apple ID and so on, and you cannot activate your device anymore. It also works to activate your device if you bought it from a different country and you don't have the proper SIM card to activate it, or of course if it fails to activate because it's an older device. This program supports iPhone 10 and older though, and a free trial is available. So for those of you who are unaware, right now the iOS 15.5 is currently the latest signed version, but 15.5 Beta 4 and 15.5 RC are still signed. There is also the 15.6 Betas, but that don't really matter at the moment. So for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak, either for Tor or for Uncover to be updated, you should definitely save your blobs. And yes, you're going to ask me why would I save them, the jailbreak will never come and so on. Well, the jailbreak will definitely come. iOS 15 was very hard to jailbreak because Apple stepped up their game. A lot of things had to be updated and a lot of things had to be rethought by the ODC team developing the Torin in order for them to get some things working. So iOS 15 was indeed very hard to jailbreak. But if you're waiting for a jailbreak, the biggest mistake you can make is to actually update further. The more you update, the more you diminish your chances to jailbreak in the near future. And updating to iOS 16 developer beta 1 is the worst idea ever. Devices overheat, the battery life is basically crap, and you will nuke your entire chance to jailbreak anytime in the future if you update to iOS 16. And it's really not worth it just for a couple of widgets on the lock screen. So to save your blobs in order to be able to jailbreak and downgrade in the future, it takes only a couple of seconds to do. Go ahead in here and get blob saver by air squared you go here to releases and get the 3.2.1 or the newest available when you're watching this. This one was posted three days ago and it's especially made for iOS 15 because it fixes an important issue in there. So it's available for both Windows, Mac OS and even Linux so no problem in there. Once you have it you open it and connect your phone to the computer. Once you connected your phone to the computer it's as simple as pressing read from device over here and it automatically detected everything. Now if your device is an iPhone 12 or an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, iPhone 11 and so on. So basically anything newer than the A12, you press specify app nonce here and read it from the device as well. In my case it's not necessary. So I'm gonna press go over here and it's gonna save the blobs and that's it. It's as simple as that. Now if you want to save them for the beta, you press include betas over here as well and press go. And this way it will save the betas as well which are currently signed. As simple as that. And there we go, as you can see it saved everything in here including 15.5, 15.6 betas and so on. You never know when one of these betas have an important vulnerability that can be used for jailbreak purposes. Take your time, save your blobs and do not update. I know that you've been waiting for a long time for a jailbreak and iOS 15 has been extremely annoying to jailbreak in the first place because of how complicated it is, but the more you update, the more you're going to wait. So try your best to stay as low as possible and save your blobs. Thank you for watching, I am GSNow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.